Hello, and welcome to The Tools. In today's video, we'll look at how to use and connect RVC Real-Time Voice Changer in apps like WhatsApp and Telegram. These steps can also be applied to other apps. On this site, you'll be able to download Voice Changer models. You can also check out my other video on the channel that explains how to download additional voice models. All the links will be available in the description. For this video, we would be downloading this voice model with a 600 epoch, which should be better. Do well to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Your support really encourages me to keep making more videos. Extract the file to your desktop, and inside, you'll find the model name .pth file along with a .index file. These are the files we'll be uploading into RVC. You can also preview and test the voice model before downloading it by doing this. It would be nice if you gave a like and subscribe. It would be nice if you gave a like and subscribe. It would be nice if you gave a like and subscribe. Now, let's get into what we're really here for. Setting up the real-time voice changer to modify your voice live on social platforms. For this example, we'll be using WhatsApp and Telegram. First, open the voice changer application. When it loads, you'll see several buttons, but I'll focus only on the important ones you'll need for this setup. Next, let's go over the key settings. You'll see controls for input volume, output volume, and monitor volume. For pitch detection, we're currently using RMVPE, which gives higher accuracy. But if you're on a lower graphics card, you can switch to lighter models like Crepe Tiny or Crepe Full. Now, the most important part is setting up your input and output devices for the voice changer. Both must use the same driver. For example, Windows WASAPI. You can also choose MME or Windows Direct Sound. 
but again, make sure they're the same for both input and output. For input, select your system microphone or any external mic you want to use. For output, select the cable input. If you don't see virtual cable input, watch my video on how to install VB cable. It should be showing at the top right of your screen. And I've also dropped the download link in the video description. Now, remember the model we downloaded earlier? This is where we upload the .pth and .index files, like this. Do well to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Your support really encourages me to keep making more videos. After uploading, simply click on the model you selected, then hit the Start button to begin the voice conversion. Then, in the app you want to use, like WhatsApp, Telegram, or others, go to Audio Settings and select Cable Output as your microphone device. That way, your modified voice will be sent directly into the app in real time. Now, whenever you make a video or voice call, your output voice will be the one from the model we downloaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates.